Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching this presentation today on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hanksters.com, where you can find all of our most current inventory. We have thousands of YouTube subscribers, and we leave our videos up at all times between both of our locations for our subscribers to watch, whether they were shot two days ago or two years ago. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website letting you know that that particular unit is no longer available. Also check out our Instagram. We're going to be posting vehicles such as the one we're about to present to you today on our Instagram prior to them hitting our website. This way, if it's a year maker model that you might be interested in, you might be able to get a jump on another prospective buyer. There's also a link there to our gift shop here in Daytona. We sell hangsters, hats, t-shirts, uh, different kinds of apparel as well as other man cave garage type items such as signs, banners, flags, all kinds of cool merchandise. So check that out. We ship that all over the United States as well. Kind of a cool um, vehicle we're going to present to you today. Um, this is a 1991 VW Vanagon and um, one owner vehicle. Um, it is not the original motor. The, uh, the van is on his third motor. Uh, the Odometer reads just under 300,000 miles, so there is 300,000 miles on the body. Um, the motor was completely uh, rebuilt, fresh motor at uh, 209,000, and there's 226,000 on it now, so just under 17,000 miles on the new motor. Um, mostly original paint, clean Carfax, um, original interior, all original metal. This uh, vehicle has spent um, all of its life with one family here in the great state of Florida. So let's show that to you. Starting things out a little bit differently today, uh, peeking into the interior. I told you all the interior is original. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see between the uh, photos and the videos. Uh, the van has been very well cared for. It is definitely a driver quality piece. Um, definitely what we would classify as a you know survivor um, in the classic car collector car industry. Um, the original carpeting. Um, is in good shape. You can see that um, it is not torn um, or worn out in any spot. Same thing with the seats. Uh, you can see a, like a little bit of discoloration in the uh, seats. You know, take a look at the still photos and take a look at the video. Um, but overall, really good condition. Look at all the headrests. The headrests are like a vinyl back. Um, nothing's cracked or broken and they're all there. Um, you do have all your AC vents. This is an AC car van, whatever you want to call it. Um, the AC blows throughout the entire uh, cabin there. You do have speakers in the back uh, mounted up in the uh, rear panel there at the uh, end of the uh, van. So we'll take a uh, look and see if those work on the test drive um, when, we're, when we're test driving it. Um, your weather stripping around the uh, slide door there is good. Take a look into the passenger side of the vehicle again. Um, let's take a close look at this thing. The, uh, the the bucket seat there on the passenger side is in good shape. Again, you know, slight discoloration from years of use. However, um, overall in pretty good condition. Um, same thing with the drivers, but we will look at that uh, closer when we are um, on that side of the van. Um, again, the uh, carpeting in the front here is in good condition. I'll show you guys a good up-close view of that when we're on the test drive. Um, we'll pop open the uh, driver's side. Um, there's, with the floor mat out, I mean, again, original 1991 carpeting. It's not, uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it is in very good condition. This thing drives absolutely amazing. So. Uh, all your, you know, internals of your uh, door here where the door closes, everything's and you know, there's, there's wear there. Um, but overall, again, original paint, so everything's in pretty nice condition. It's a very nice, solid, good-looking, driver-quality van. Um, the paint uh, on the passenger side door there, you can see, is uh, really nice. There's no uh, blistering or cracking or fading or anything like that. Um, is a little bit of wear there on the, uh, the mirror itself you know, cracking in the paint right there on the mirror. Um, however, again, very, uh, very nice quality. Uh, front windshield looks to be in pretty good condition. Same thing with the entire front area. Again, check out the, uh, the VW logo there. That's the original grill. 
so you can see that there's wear there. Um, overall, the white paint on the uh, front there is in good shape. Paint on the front bumper is in pretty good condition. Again, the uh, your like uh, black there, you know, the front bumper. It's got a couple, uh, you know, where you take road debris and where you take on debris from uh, travel. Um, this thing was, you know, used to travel in, so it, it is, obviously does have some miles on it. Again, about to turn 300,000 from 1991, but uh, has had the motor replaced. Like I said, this is the third third motor. So, and we do have uh, paperwork. I'll show you here before we conclude the presentation. Uh, driver's side door, a um, couple little marks there, uh, but overall pretty good for a uh, 1991 paint. Um, so all four wheels are in pretty good shape too. You can see that the uh, it does have four radial tires on it. Um, it the, the wheels are in pretty good condition. There's uh, no substantial uh, corroding or uh, curb rash or uh, pitting or anything like that. So uh, overall in pretty nice shape. Take a look in the uh, driver's side. Um, again, so see there's some discoloration up there, uh, touch-ups where people, you know, put their arms or whatever um, over time and usage. Uh, so you do have that. Door panel itself is in great shape. Uh, plastic door pull there panel. Um, handle there to pull the door open and closed. The uh, plastic handles in good shape. Do have Kenwood speakers in the door. Um, is this power? I wonder if that's power. If it's power, it doesn't work. Um, or it may work with the key on. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play with that in the test drive. Uh, but again, you can see the discoloration on the uh, driver's seat there. See how it's discolored on this side and a little bit brighter on this side. But not torn up, not uh, overly worn or anything like that. So uh, overall in pretty good shape. Uh, again, the uh, carpeting on the driver's side, discolored right there a little bit. Uh, this just had a tune-up, by the way, in uh, August. That was about 2,000 miles ago. Um, so I do, again, have some documentation on it. Um, runs fantastic. Uh, all the body panels on the uh, vehicle are real nice and straight. You know, uh, you do have uh, Volkswagen engineering behind this thing. So, uh, you know, it's all original sheet metal, no hit body. Um, so all the, uh, all the panels on the van and everything, you know, driver's door, passenger door, sliding door, um, rear door, everything is in real nice shape there. Uh, rear defrost, rear wiper, Vanagon logo. Uh, rear bumper is about the same quality as the front bumper. Again, they're both original. Uh, they both show signs of age. So uh, do have an exhaust there that comes out from underneath the bottom. There is a little trailer plug down there, if, hook up if you're towing something small. Um, the motor, for those of you that do not know, um, let me see if I can figure out how to get this thing open. The motor, for those of you that do not know, is underneath that bed right there. And I'm, we are going to have still photos of it. I'm sure you all know what a motor looks like. Um, you know, I'm not going to go over it like I usually do in our presentation. Uh, so the motor, um, you know, again, is in good condition. It's underneath the bed. Um, there's metal underneath there. The metal's in good shape. Um, again, really good condition. This would be perfect to uh, do a little bit of traveling in or um, all your, uh, your seals here around the uh, rear hatch are in good condition as well. You can see the hatch stays up with the, uh, with the shocks. Um, metal at the bottom of the door is all in good shape. Nothing rusted or rotted out there. Close that up. Uh, again, this is, you know, if you wanted to use it for travel, you certainly could. If you wanted to use it to haul the family around, nice inexpensive vehicle that looks cool, that there's a lot of nostalgia to. All these vans are on the upswing right now. Uh, of course, the old school uh, VW vans have always been popular. We're doing a lot with the uh, full-size conversion vans now. Uh, the Chevy G10 vans, the Dodge B100 vans. So these vans are coming around, they really are. And um, you know, there's, you got two things going for this. Number one, only 17,000 miles on the new motor that's in it. Number two, it spent its entire life in the state of Florida. So all your body panels are good, all your metal solid. Um, 
So if you wanted to take this thing and, you know, put a real cool paint scheme on it or turn it in, you know, put some cool wheels on or something, you could definitely make this vehicle your own, very inexpensive, and you'd have something that's worth something. Really nice, really nice piece. Uh, so to show you the uh, door operation here. So the door does shut, open and close. It's obviously a slider. Uh, it's got a real cool look to the uh, passenger side of it, to the driver's side of it. Just a real nice stance on the van. Window glass is all in good shape. Drip rails are all in good shape. Vent windows are in good condition. I'm telling you, this van has been cared for its entire lifetime, and uh, it shows. It really does in person. Um, there is a folder here. Check this out. With substantial receipts. These people kept all their maintenance records, oil changes, you know, different um, receipts. So there is a receipt in there for the new motor. Um, there is the original window sticker. Uh, you, there is a clean Carfax on it. Very cool stuff. So we're going to take it around the building right now. We're going to throw it on the lift. I'll show you what the undercarriage looks like. It's impressive. Like I said, it's a Florida vehicle, so it's all original sheet metal, and it looks good underneath. Before we do that, I want to encourage you guys to come in person to Daytona Beach to visit our muscle car and collector car showroom. We house all of our vehicles inside. Currently, we have 63. Um, they are in a 25,000 square foot indoor facility. We do not keep any of our vehicles outside, including this 91 Volkswagen van. We encourage you guys to come in person to our showroom. Uh, this way, you can look at uh, exactly what I'm looking at. You can uh, pull this van outside, take a look at it in the sunshine. You can see what the quality of the paint is. You can look in the interior. You can, um, we'll rack it just like we're going to do here, you know, in a couple minutes. We'll, we'll gladly put it on a lift for you, throw it in the air. Uh, we'll let you drive it. You can see how the motor and transmission perform. Um, that's what I really encourage you to do, especially if this is your first classic car purchase. You know, this is a, a, a driver quality a newer van, this is you know, not a 60s or 70s model, it's a 91, um, but again, you're, you're dealing with something, you're dealing with vehicles in our industry that are 20, 30, 40 years old in age, so uh, we definitely encourage you guys to come in person. With that being said, most of the business we do is done sight unseen because we take a lot of photos of each vehicle, because we uh, do these videos, because our spec sheets are in depth, uh, because we talk to people on the phone, text people on the phone, email people, the majority of the business we do is done sight unseen. We've been very successful at it. We've been doing it for over 20 years. So um, that should tell you something about our business model. Without further ado, let's take this uh, van outside. We'll see which one of the two racks out back are open, and we will throw it in the air and check out what the undercarriage looks like. And then shortly after that, we will drive it. Underneath our 1991 Volkswagen van, we're just going to take you through the undercarriage here real quick. It's too low for me to get underneath it. I've already walked it twice, um, so here we go. Underneath the front uh, where you would have the uh, driver and passenger seat, you can see it does have a spare underneath there. Um, all the front suspension components look to be in good condition. The floor pans, all the metals, uh, all original, so um, all that's in good shape. As I've already stated uh, previously in the video, the uh, car was one owner spent its entire life in Florida so uh, we we know we got the Carfax we have the history and we have uh, I know the owner I bought it from her um, frame rails are obviously in great shape all your lines are run nice and neat um, of course your drivetrain is in the back oh by the way four brand new tires we'll show you that here in just a couple minutes um, drivetrain all in the rear the transmission the engine uh, four cylinder uh, 2.1 liter um, five-speed uh, manual transmission. Um, the tires I said are brand new. Check it out. You got this, all the tire manufacturers go into this uh, number system now here. Uh, not dry rotted, not down to the wear bars yet. So uh, good, uh, good tires on the vehicle. Um, exhaust system's in good shape. I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything like that. Good looking uh, vehicle from underneath. We're gonna drop it down on the ground. We're gonna take it out on a test drive here. I'll show you how it runs out. I've already driven it. It uh, runs absolutely fantastic. 
If you're a cash buyer, we accept uh, cash if you physically come in person and bring us cash. We also accept uh, bank wire transfer, which is the most common form of payment that people use. As I stated earlier, most of the business we do is done sight unseen. Therefore, uh, people uh, usually wire it to us because it's there the same day and we can start processing the vehicle for shipment a lot quicker. We also accept certified bank check. If you uh, choose to mail us a check, we can do, you can do that as well. Um, if you are financing, we do have three different collector car lenders we work with that will do a loan on this vehicle with 10% down and then the remaining balance over a five to seven year period, whatever you get approved for. Um, you can put down more if you'd like, but the collector car lenders are going to require a minimum of 10% of the purchase price. Then uh, again, your remaining balance over that five to seven year period. Um, no prepayment penalty. If you take it out for five years and you decide to pay it off in one, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. Once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. That process is recorded and you get a copy of it on the keychain when the vehicle shows up. Um, once it is through inspection and funded, then we uh, call for a pickup and it's on its way to you wherever you might be in the United States of, or in the world for that matter. Or if, of course, come to pick it up either on your own trailer or driving it home, we'll call and let you know it's ready and you can uh, come get it. Let's set this 91 VW van on the ground. We will take it out in the Florida sunshine and show you how it runs out. Inside our 91 VW van, horn, wipers, uh, turn signals, driver, passenger. 226,990, that is the original miles. TAC. Um, AC. Uh, okay, there's three different controls here. One for the feet, one for the defrost, and one for the rear. And there, there's your temp control. And it does blow cold. That we don't need it today. And I showed you all the vents in the ceiling on the showroom, in the showroom, so. Um, shifter, five speed. Um, so clutch down and over for reverse. And then of course all your other gears. Um, let's see those power mirrors. Okay, if, yeah, I guess they don't work. The power mirrors don't work. Um, what else? Show you the wipers, turn signals, horn. Let's see if uh, the radio works here. Uh, source. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Okay, FM. All right, let's see here. Yeah, we got a radio. Let's see if we can get something to tune in here. Oh, yeah. If you're going south of the border, you got tunes. Um, what else here? Told you the carpeting, again, it's original. You can see some of it's slightly stained, but nothing is, um, you know, deteriorated, uh, torn, worn out. Seats are all nice. Look at this idle. Look at, look at the RPM there. Just holding steady. We have no fuel, so I should probably go put some fuel in it because I'm probably going to need it. Let's take it on a test drive. This thing runs fantastic. I mean, you first of all, you barely know it's running, number one. Second of all, it just, it, it, it rides absolutely positively smooth. So I'll show you that right now. Inside our 91 VW van. Let go of the wheel, it tracks nice and straight. Response in the wheel is fantastic. It's immediate. No vibration in the shifter at all. Speedo's working just like it should. Tax working. I put gas in it. See, it's up to a half tank. This thing's cool. Very nice ride. Uh, no tire vibration, no front end vibration. You know, you're sitting on the front tires. You know, the, the seat's directly above the uh, front wheels. So, um, no vibrations whatsoever in the seat and the floor. Uh, and the shifter and the steering wheel. 
We're about to come to a traffic light here. We'll be doing a stop. We'll see if we got any vibration or pulsation in the uh, brakes. Temp's good. Temp's not even up to half. Vehicle stops nice and nice and straight. No vibration in the brakes. We will run it. Might hit all five gears. Uh, at least through fourth gear. It's not gonna hot rod it. It ain't a muscle car, but at least we'll show you that it does. Uh, that it does drive once traffic passes me by. It's Friday afternoon, so it's really uh, busy. Okay, here we go. That's 50 in, in fifth gear. Speedometer's holding nice and steady. No hands on the wheel. The alignment's nice. Alignment of the steering wheel's nice. It's a nice running band. Something that's inexpensive, something that's all original sheet metal, something that has documentation that has been well cared for throughout its lifetime. Something with 17,000 miles on a freshly rebuilt motor. Something to pack the whole family in or travel in. Very cool. AC. Working radio. Something if you want to, you can customize to make your own. You have great bones, great interior, great exterior, good metal. Awesome piece. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. Today we're going to be putting probably 100 photos of this vehicle up, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, uh, this vehicle will include shipping. Um, it will not include a warranty. Uh, the reason for that is is because there's just not enough margin in it to include a warranty on it. Um, you know, this is something that's going to be offered inexpensive. It's something I have documentation for. Um, you know, it's the you know the repair history or whatnot. Um, something that has 17,000 miles on a, on a rebuilt motor, and um, you know, it is what it is. It's just going to be a nice, inexpensive driver quality vehicle. Again, there's not enough margin in the car uh, to to justify building any warranty. Um, However, there is shipping. We will ship it to you um, on an enclosed carrier. If it'll fit in an enclosed carrier, if not, it'll have to go open. Generally, we don't ship anything on a uh, open carrier. Um, the only time we do is when we can't fit it in an enclosed carrier, and there are cases that, uh, that we can't, but I think this one might. Can we negotiate the price? We most certainly can. However, if we negotiate the price of the vehicle, then of course you're just going to pay the shipping when it arrives or you can come to uh, Daytona Beach and pick it up yourself. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout Daytona Beach and the entire United States, but throughout the world. Maybe somebody in Germany might want this thing. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida, and one last time, our website is hangsters.com. Please check us out.